welcome to Vernicue's Vanity. That's a really, like, I chose the name, firstly, because it's a really, really lame joke, and because I, I'm getting more accustomed to calling my, my, where I, my makeup table is, a vanity as opposed to a battle station. Um, sorry, my cat's asking for attention. Um, so, I, what I wanted to do today was do a wing liner tutorial. I did film one the other day, and then I realized that I really messed up the liner. And there's really no point in doing a wing liner tutorial if you're not going to do the liner properly. So, <laughs> so here I am. I'm going to talk to you about liner and eyeliner. Okay, so I have really round eyes. Obvi, it's kind of, you can see that they're a little bit round. And most tutorials aren't for people who have like protruding eyes, unfortunately. Um, most of the tutorials, they they can just pull out a liner, no problem. But anytime I tried to do a wing liner, I always ended up with like a little seagull wing going on, which, I mean, hey, if you wanna go that route, that's cool. I'm not gonna judge you. Um, everybody is, great at different things. I'm horrible at liner. So I've been trying for years to figure out how to get the perfect liner down and I realized that I needed to learn the shape of my eyes before I could ever accomplish that. So I spent many, many, many hours <laughs> learning the shape of my eyes and learning how to get that, that right angle to get it to somehow even look like a regular liner um, so I'm just gonna pull in a little bit closer and show you how I do my eyes and hopefully that helps you figure out the best angle for your eyes and the best way to get that wing flying <laughs> so I'm just using a felt liner trooper by Kat Von D Okay, so for rounded eyes, what you want to do is you want to go at a, about a 45 degree angle from the corner of your eye. Both of my eyes don't have the exact same shape, so I do have to change the angle of the liner each time on each side. And you can see I kind of curved that liner a little bit too much. Instead of going straight from the angle to my eye, I angled it and I curved it. So I have just a very small seagull wing. It's not too bad, but you can see that there's a little bit too much of a curve. The trick with liner on rounded eyes is you want to get that angle right, and then you connect straight to your eye. Now on the other side here, I'm going to show you how to do that seagull wing, and you can see that I didn't really take the time to measure or do an angle properly, and I don't start the line from the end of the liner. I started from the middle and I connected. So that gives you that little bit of a seagull wing, which is not what you really want to go for unless that's your thing. That's fine. So I try again and I mark my face because you always got to do that. So you get your <laughs> marker out, or sorry, your wipe out and I'm doing more of a connect from the tip of the wing now, but I'm still a little bit too curved on the bottom. And I pull on my eye, which is really not advised because if you do that too much, your eyelid, like your lower lid starts to sag a little bit more the more you pull on your eye because it's very sensitive skin there. So you don't want to pull on it too much or at all to be, to be really honest here. And you can see that now I'm evening out that line and connecting it a little bit more. Still have that little bit of a seagull wing, but it's not as bad as it was before. And I just try to clean it up because you don't want your liner to fully connect from the, the meeting of the water line. And on this side, I also show you a really hard way to fill in the liner on the rest of the lid. Uh, right here, instead of marking it I end up just trying to run the liner 
over my eye, which is really hard to do, especially when you're wearing actual like eye makeup and eyeshadow. It doesn't come out as smooth as this, and it doesn't also fully connect to the eyelashes. And then as you can see there, to even out the line on the bottom, I just kind of dabbed with the liner to give it a little bit of a straighter look. Now on this side, I'm just going to even out the wing, maybe make it a little bit longer. As you can see, I don't really fully connect into the inner corner there. Just kind of follow along and kind of meet that lower lash line to get that liner. And now I'm going to show you how to get that full liner on the whole eyelid with a dabbing motion. Using a dabby motion, especially when you have eyeshadow on, really helps because eyeshadow tends to pile up and really emphasize the creases on your eyelid. So what I do is I like to slowly dab and slowly line just to get that perfect straight line on the rest of my eyelids. You can see there, dab and then line. And it's a lot easier to do it this way as opposed to the other way where you just kind of throw the liner on your lid. This way you get a, a more straight line as opposed to spacey as you can see on the other side. Got a little Kevin Spacey lids going on. And there's there you have it. Um, always handy to have one of these around. Um, it does get frustrating. Uh, I, I definitely suggest practicing before you really try to wing it out. Um, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of effort. Once you learn your eye shape, it's a lot easier to just throw on a wing. Uh, like I said, it's taking me years to figure out how to get that perfect wing. And practice makes perfect to be to to be really honest so never give up just keep trying and and you'll you'll soon realize that it's a lot easier than you thought it was anyway I hope you liked today's tutorial I hope that any any tips that I can give you really help you to get yourself further into your love for makeup I know the more I started learning and the more I started practicing is the more I really came into it and I really started loving it. I just hope that someone has the exact same passion that I do can can learn and live to help someone else. Um, so I hope you have a good day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want any more information, any more tutorials. Just drop it on down below in the comment section and I hope to see you again soon. So, have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>